Hello and welcome to another episode of my F1 22 driver career mode here today for part 13 at the Japanese Grand Prix after the back of a pretty disappointing Singapore we need to get back to some form after a pretty disappointing race there anyway that's the past into the now and we're in qualifying where it's going alright we have improved massively on the second one even though we are being pushed around the track but we will start the race in P14 let's get into it Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Issei Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick and if it stays dry, expect it somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Fernando Alonso, Pierre Gasly and Magnussen, Verstappen, Bottas, Russell and Sebastian Vettel. Norris, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ricardo, Lance Stroll, Brown, Latifi, Joe, they've taken a grid penalty. Alex Albon and Yuki Tsunoda. Mick Schumacher and Carlos Sainz will start from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now let's talk about Charles Leclerc. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. So as we do, the formation lap is very hard to overtake around here, so we're gonna have to get our round bows up today. The approach of good box and Daniel Ricciardo He's going so slow there, but it's actually helped us get the purple time in. But the title can be decided today. Is it going to be those who like to go out and we're underway in Suzuka? And we're just going to try and go. We've gone to the outside. We've gone through the brave marker boards. Don't know what I was trying to do there. I think I was trying to get on the outside. I was thinking like, a bit like we did in Austria, but we haven't actually we've gained to two places after that. Now trying to hunt down a large straw with the head of the other Canadian of Nicholas the Tifi. And now there is Stroll and Daniel Ricardo. Wheel to wheel, sorry it's Lando Norris. Wheel to wheel. Top pass at Lando. Gets the drop down on Stroll, but now Stroll, both have Mercedes power, so there's nothing in that. Stroll's gonna come back at Lando, the 3 one thirty r side by side. That's unbelievable, isn't it? The chicane now, where many incidents over the year, most iconically, Preston Senna. And now, though, we have a look because we were just sat there watching this unfold here goes Lando though again and we're gonna try and make a free wide but Lando goes wide and we sneak up the inside and get in that position and now Lando is applying some pressure but his engine has gone bang Lando Norris is out of the Japanese Grand Prix and that's relieved some pressure from us because he was applying a lot but now we managed to get after Stroll and now Stroll on the soft tyres so he's pitting early so this as we go down the other side we swap Stroll the dummy drop down but this could turn into a bit like Zamvor where if you remember we were 
battling Lando, but he was on the soft standing on the softs and that that race came later and Stroll re overtakes us. So this might be copy and paste of that as in the background you can see Joe and Sonoda. Sonoda has got the drop down and Sonoda has overtaken us. There's Charles Leclerc down the inside. We catch the, the home hero map in there and now we're on the back of Charles Leclerc which as it stands will be world champion because Carlos Sainz finds himself stuck in the midfield as now Sonoda tried to get past us again and Joe Kwan Yu now has thought to himself I'm going to have a look here and he is and now round the outside at the hairpin don't know what we're doing there we've gone massively to the left and now side by side Joe now has got the absolute slingshot off of the hairpin he's got Sonoda and he's going to try to go around the outside of us and we do push him wide and now Sonoda has come back at the Japanese, the Chinese driver it's Japan v China and now Sonoda going to try and make a free ride and wow, well, hold your breath there, we stay ahead and Joe does get the job done on Sonoda as we go into pit to make our one and only stop Joe Kwan Yu and Yuki Sonoda both stay out because began to the hard tires basically copy and paste from every single track on the calendar this season no two stops in sight unless there's a safety car or something goes massively wrong in the races as there is Carlos Sainz as I was mentioned earlier in the midfield and basically needs a miracle if he wants to keep the championship alive as now Sonoda into the pits along with um, Joe as well and now where are we going to come out? We are coming out of then the final corner have we done it? I feel like I'm learning how to get the tyres up the temperature a lot quicker and there he is, he's beating us out but those cold tyres as look at him, he can't get off the second corner and look at the difference in grip he's just come out of the pits, no grip and we have just got an absolute monster launch off of turn 2 and now we've lost out to Joe so we need to get past him and this is Leclerc fighting Hamilton for the lead if Hamilton stays ahead this will be Ferrari's first damn race of the season where they haven't won because they've won every single race so far this season all 12 races is now we're on the back of Granny Joe. It took a lot of laps to get this close, so we better make it count down the inside. But we run wide, and Joe has cut us back and stays ahead of us. Kind of turned us into a little bit of a rivalry after F1 2020. As here we come again on Granny Joe, and this time he looks up. We scare him off the track, and we are up. Back up to where we were before the pit stops. And finally, I don't have to look at the back of that Alfa Romeo anymore. No, I can. I've had enough of these issues this season. And with that Aston Martin see opening up. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. This Renault engine. It's honestly shocking. That's our fourth retirement of the season. Back to back again. They say things come in threes, but they come, but they come in two for us. And when they come in two, it ends up in two DNFs. Very, very annoying. And I'm definitely considering my future at this team.
And with that, another year of Formula One draws to a close and a new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations a real team victory today everyone played their part congratulations then to Mercedes your race winners today So that's been your Japanese Grand Prix and your new Formula 1 World Champion in Charles Leclerc. Bit fortunate they couldn't win it with a win, losing out to Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton keeps up his run of always winning a race in a season he's competing in. And the first race this season that Ferrari haven't won and it's the one they win the title with because they've also won the constructors as well typical ferrari fair play to ferrari they've been so consistent this season 12 wins in a row out of a 16 race season is incredible you can see the parts that have failed in the mj uk we're gonna have to be taking penalties then for next time out in mexico but that's been this video i hope you enjoyed it so that's been your championship then pretty much dominated by charles leclerc went on a sixth race winning streak and I was wrapped up with three races to go. Goodbye.